Hallelujah, hallelujah. Men of God, we've got uh, a powerful testimony here. Men of God, this young lady here is very excited, men of God. She says the anointing upon your life is amazing because there are so many things that have been happening in her life. But men of God, today she says the teaching that you are doing every Sunday morning, teaching about the secrets of creation, the seven symbology keys of success. And men of God, one of the first keys that you taught was about speaking, speaking, let there be light, let there be light. This lady says she took that to heart and she began to confess. She began to speak. Every day she's been confessing. Let there be light in my finances. Let there be light in my finances. Let there be light in my finances. This Wednesday, man of God, she came for Bible study. And after Bible study, she, uh, she proceeded to go back home. But something in here just told her you need to go for a walk before you get home. Just go for a walk. Just go for a walk. Before you go home. Before you get home. So she was driving a car. She stopped along this black heath, she said. There's a park there. She stopped. She doesn't usually go for walks in that area. But something in here told her you need to go for a walk. So she parked her car. She walked all around the park. And as she was heading back to her car, she saw 10 pounds just looking at her and calling her name, man of God. 10 pounds on the floor. 10 pounds, man of God. Money is going to appear. Amen. I said, money is going to appear. Amen. Receive. I receive. Wow. Man of God, the most amazing thing that she said, there were so many people. There were many people that people could have picked that up, but that money, because she's been confessing, let there be light in my finances, it waited for her. It waited for her and her alone to pick it up in the name of Jesus. And she paid that offering here today, man of God. Give Jesus a mighty of praise. One day. Amen. Pastor, is that not amazing? Because you see, something kept telling her, get out of the car. That's right. Take that walk. I'm telling you one thing, if you have been missing Sunday mornings, Sunday mornings, what I'm teaching Sunday morning, I'm teaching you a life that I live. Today we were talking, today actually Sunday morning, today we're talking for a sign. You see, when you, when Joseph, when you see a sign and you know this is the way God wants you to go, it does not matter even if it's painful. You will swallow that bait and go through there because already you have received sign from heaven. Amen. You know, what can you tell those people, Pastor, that are missing Sunday morning? Men of God, that All teaching. All those people that are missing church. That's right. And men of God, that is such a powerful, powerful session that you are doing. We're on key number five right now, and all the keys that you've been releasing are very, very powerful. You have taken us back to creation, where it all began. And it's just important for those people who are watching, just to come and be a part of this symbology teaching. They are very, very, very amazing. Very simple, and very simple for people to follow through about taking control, about speaking, about commanding. You know, men of God, we just encouraging people who are out there. Even if you're living around the corner, come for that service, and God will begin to do amazing things. Especially like today, you were teaching about the sign. How easy it is to ask for God for a sign, man of God. But you know one thing, Pastor? Do you know one thing? The most amazing thing is that in life, you don't need actually to find yourself in an in a, in a emergency situation. That's right. You should never have emergency in life. That's right. Because already, God can give you sign about seasons. That's right. What can you tell us about this uh, morning service? Yes. The, the services are amazing. We're learning so much, and it's really bringing light to our lives. We're having, we're hearing so many testimonies in the Kingdom Church with just this this knowledge that you're teaching us. So we thank God. And what about you? You're one of the people that when I'm teaching you're so much a lot. Why why is it that you? Because you're, I see you there, and you're you're very excited about when I'm talking. Why why is it? Because I when know I'm trying to wake up others for you, you 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 are you're on top of the world. <laughs> when I look at you, it looks as if I'm just preaching, you know, to you. Yes. Because everything that you say, man of God, it, it's like you're just speaking into my life directly. So I'm writing down all of the words that you're saying and I'm just applying these to my life because I know that there'll be a change. And I know that I'm, God's going to get me where, where I want to get to. Tell me about this £10 that you picked up on the, on the, on the national park, not, on the, not in the national park, <laughs> but from the park, yes. Yeah, so I, I just wasn't... I, Actually, it's a national park, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I, I normally don't go for a walk at that time and it was night time as well because it was after the, um, the Wednesday service. So it was dark already so I thought okay, the Spirit of God was just telling me I'll just go for a walk. 
and I don't do that very often but I just stopped my car and, and I thought let me just go for a walk. I wasn't really thinking anything, I was just reflecting on, on the service and just as I was going back to my car I just saw the £10, I instantly knew oh, this is a sign from God because that was for me because so many people could have picked that up and it was so obviously there and, um, but it was just there right about maybe two inches away from my foot. It was two inches away. Yeah, I didn't even have to, re I just had to reach down, collect reach the money. <laughs> Do you know the kids? particular spot that that 10 pounds was? Can you tell us where it is? Am I talking to somebody? <laughs> somebody give Jesus a mighty praise. Lift up, that's right. Father, we thank you for favor. 